What is up, guys? I'm Cap one here, playing some Fleet Footwork Singed. They uh, initially, a few patches ago, had nerfed this one into the ground, then they nerfed it again for range, then they buffed it back up for melee champions only. So what do they do to this rune? Well, the healing has been reduced uh, in the early game quite heavily for both melee and range. However, uh, range got a further nerf where ranged is only 15% movement speed from this rune now, and they heal even less than melee. But melee champions, this patch got a buff, or was it last patch? I don't remember. But melee champions now gain 20% movement speed uh, from this rune on hit, and uh, it lasts for so it lasts for a shorter time. But you are way faster now, and uh, that scales a lot better with Singed, obviously, because you get a lot of flat movement speed from the ultimate, uh, flat movement speed, and percent from having. Just look at that movement speed already. Uh, and, and flat movement speed, and percent from Cosmic Tribe, Dead Man, same thing, right? Uh, basically, this rune, the way you can think of it, is a miniature phase rush that gives you a bit of a heal as well. Which is super nice. Uh, it makes you a lot slipperier in the early game as well. A lot harder to deal with in the mid late game. It gives you some sustain as well. The sustain, you get full value healing from hitting champions, jungle monsters, neutral monsters, such as uh, Grubs, Grump, Dragon Baron, uh, Rift Herald and from hitting turrets and inhibitors. But from hitting just minions like this, you get reduced healing. However, you get the full movement speed value, super good for kiting. And uh, I might throw in a little clip here. Uh, bonk? Bye bye, Jarvan, I'm fast. I still have Ghost Flash if I needed to, I'm not worried about this guy at all. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did use my next, my last potion there, but... I don't think I have enough health to, to say, so I'll go ahead and leave. It would be a shame if this is warded, wouldn't it? I would just be dead right here. Thankfully, it's not. <laughs> so, I was going to buy uh, tier 1 boots here. I couldn't wait 20 gold for refill potion, but I'm ADHD as fuck, so I'm not going to. Uh, but yeah, this, this rune, it's super, super excellent on Singe for short trades, in my opinion. Uh, my favorite matchups for this rune are going to be probably Camille. But you can run this versus any melee matchup. You could run this versus range matchups as well, potentially. Uh, just to like right click a minion and then get a little bit of movement speed to like kite through the kite through the wave and stuff like that. Uh, really, really cool stuff. Um, here's Jarvan right here. But yeah, it was basically unplayable for a little bit on Singe because they had nerfed it so much, but then they buffed it uh, up to 20% movement speed for melees. And spoiler alert, I did play this a little bit in ranked off camera, off stream. And I liked it a lot. It is actually currently in Master Plus Singe's highest win rate rune. It actually also has a decent pick rate. That's what I thought. I was like, there's no way you're backing here, bro. <laughs> it actually is a decent pick rate as well. It is uh, f like 5 or 6% pick rate with a 58% win rate on Singe and Master Plus. I know it's like a super low sample size. Um, and so that's probably not like what the real number is. But it is uh, still decent to think about. I mean, I don't think you guys kill me. I'll just kite you out. I'm not even gonna use a summoner. <laughs> not even gonna use a summoner. I'm just gonna walk away. <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> but yeah, a little bit of movement speed every couple of seconds is with the, with the heal attached to it is a lot stronger than you think. Definitely don't dislike the rune. Definitely feels really good already. I have played this off stream. I do like it a lot. Um, and it, it, the thing about Fleet that I love is that it's just like a really good generic rune. Like, there's not really a bad situation for it. Like, it, think about it. In what scenario is a uh, small burst of movement speed and a small heal ever going to be bad? Never. It's never going to be bad, ever. But there are certain scenarios where other runes are more or less advantageous, but like, Fleet is just never bad. Which I like. So, I, it's something I can, I can recommend to players. Like, oh, hey, you don't know what to buy. You're going to take? Sorry, just, uh, just take Fleet. You know? You're confused about your runes, just take fleet, easy. Uh, but yeah, it's nice to have the rune back. Here's a full value heal on the Aatrox. Good synergy with the Singe passive as well. Trying to get an auto on him here if I can. Run back through. I believe he is six before me, so I gotta kite back a little bit. Because he has not recalled yet, and I have recalled multiple times, but because he has level advantage right there, I gotta leave. All good. I might get a dark seal here. Just the fact that the Jarvan ganked me twice, and I'm just, I didn't even use a summoner is crazy. Oh, also, uh, the heal, the full heal, the full value heal, it does skill with your ability power, uh, and AD if you have a, if you're AD champion, but it does skill with your ability power on Singed. 
Uh, and going into like the later stages of the game, you can get many multiple hundreds of heals per proc and that movement speed, obviously, because you are moving faster and faster with more flat movement speed as the game moves on, you are going to be going uh, faster and faster via the rune. I uh, check with a full rune setup and I would recommend you copy this. If you are going to go for a fleet setup, this is going to be Fleet Forward Triumph Legend Alacrity Last Stand. My Legend Alacrity, uh, because you're autoing a lot, it's going to be better than Legend Haste in this setup and Legend Alacrity, I think, does scale better anyways. So I wouldn't recommend Legend Alacrity. Secondaries, you can take whatever you want. I took Celerity and Gathering Storm. If they have a lot of, like, uh, annoying range champions, you could go Hex Flash, potentially. I will go ahead and happily ult there. No worries. Just want to avoid the third Q. That is a level 6 Darvin. I'm not really afraid of them, though. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not super scared of you, bro. He just used EQ as well. <laughs> oh no, Akali has R! No! I just want the wave, bro! Now she ignited me! Come on! Dude, I just wanted the fucking- He cancelled- The Jarvan cancelled my fling with his ult. If that didn't happen, I would have been totally fine. Bro, I just wanted- I just wanted the wave. You can't let me have that. It's okay. Okay, I'll go Faded Ashes Rush. The fucking goon squad's out for me this game, so I'll, I'll grab a Faded Ashes Rush. Wait, he has no ult. Kill his ass. Nice. I deserve an assist for that, but that's cool. All good. Good job, Kha'Zix. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yep. Very, very nice. I think Aatrox still has a heal? Oh, he stole it rip, dude. Oh, wait. Is he out? Tell me he's out. Tell me the boy is out. The boy is out, I think. Let's go. Back in lane. Not afraid of this guy too much. I mean, he's missing CS under his turret while he's kiting me like this, so I don't really mind. I have ult in 9 as well if I want to fight, but we'll see how it goes. Just keep kiting. Want to grab that little bit of movement speed? I can on a minion. <laughs> nice part about fleet as well, again, that it scales. So even if I'm not getting like a ton of kills, I know that later on I'm going to be healing like a little bit of a demon. It's nearly time. Synergizes very well with their passive as well. Is that Jarvan over there, or am I just seeing random graphics? Oh, Those random graphics, nice. Uh, you can do a drive-by auto attack on a jungle monster as well, and get a decent chunk of healing out of that. Looks like Aatrox is. Oh, it's a Kali over here. I mean, fuck it, I'm not afraid. Let's go, bro. Take the goofling, see ya. Oh. Damn, bro. Damn, I ghosted. I probably shouldn't have. I thought she used her ult on Kha'Zix. I guess I'm dumb. Uh, there's her ult. She actually didn't ignite. She has ignite still. I'm gonna say she did. All good. Uh, I could go Swifties here. I would be super, super annoying with those. So, uh, yeah, I will. I will go ahead and do that. That sounds really good, actually, to me. Goodbye. Oh, also, another nice part about Fleet is that you can skip the refill potion if you want. Some matchups, I'd say you probably still have to buy it, but because of the healing, the small amount of healing that the rune does provide, you can skip it some matchups and probably be okay. And if I had ult, I probably could fight this guy right here, but that's fine. McCauley using a ton of resources on me. There's no way Aatrox recalls here. He knows I have no ult, no ghost, no flash. He wants to fight me. Zero percent chance that guy recalled. I do not believe it. I'm gonna walk down and around, see if I can get in front of this wave. On my way. Decent. If he recalled, you can spank my ass and call me uncle. There's no way. He did actually recall. Nice, dodge the third Q. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll walk this way. <laughs> okay, whatever, bro. I got the uh, Aatrox Flash. I Unfortunately, I was one second from my ult. I don't think it would have mattered because I used my fling. But that's okay. All right, I'll go for Leandries here. I could technically go Rylize as well, but I'm going to be trapped in Jarvan ult basically every fight, so no point. Uh, he has no R. I think he still has Flash, but 
Good luck, Kha'Zix. Get his ass. He walks down for the wall hop. Oh, he flashed it. Oh, he flashed it. Oh, my Kha'Zix stayed in melee range the whole time. That's rough. Okay, I didn't expect that. I thought he would, you know, kite a little bit, like a human. Alright, well, my turn, I guess. Let's see if I can do something. Turret shot, maybe? No, turret shot is rough, bro. Kite out for flee. So, yeah. A little bit of a killer there. I know his TP is down. I'm going to go for turret plates here. Jarvan died bottom as well. I would like for someone to go grubs, but it can't be me. I guess I could technically do grubs here with fleet, actually. I'm not used to having it. I might try. I might try that. Let's see if I can limit test a bit. Grab a grubber or something. But I'll, I'll wait. I have a lot of uh, a lot of value here. Okay, let's walk up here, grab a fleet proc. Exit stage right. Can I steal one? I think I can steal one, genuinely. Here, so walk up, right click, fling, kite away. You get the full value heal on a grub. It is decent healing. I don't think I can take all three of them, but you can definitely snipe one. Which is all I need. Come on. Nice, easy grub snipe. We love that value, boys. So they can't get six anymore. And they get no... Uh, no Voidling spawn. You need at least five to get the Voidling spawn. This guy bought... Black Cleaver. I will lose a turret plate for that, but I mean... I prevent them from six grabbing, so... You hate the one for one, that's okay. I wonder if I can fight him again, even though he has Cleaver. It'll be hard with my armor being reduced, but it's possible. Okay, I am almost caught up in CS as well, so he's going hard for the plate. He's backing off, nice. I wonder if they go for uh, Grubs here, they probably will. Damn, Ocean Rift is lame. That's okay. Okay, so he knows I warded that bush, that means he's gonna stand back there now. He's also level 11, so it's harder for me if I do want to fight him. But like, I think I can though, you know? I'm gonna ping it, let's see what happens. Maybe Kha'Zix comes, probably not though. Definitely not a bait. Well, he's Grievous, so. A little fleet heal there. You just stand right in the middle like a noob. That's okay. Well, I'm going to die probably, so I'm going for the wave. Unless she just doesn't. Unless she just kills neither of us. That would be dope, too. Let's fucking go, bro. Not bad, not bad. The fleet come a little bit clutch. We get mid tier one as well because that Kali's roamed 18 times. Love to see it. Does she walk up and try and snipe? I think I'm okay. Hell yeah, let's go. I get Landers off that as well. Uh, they also did not get their second set of grubs. So they have, I believe, two and we have two because Kha'Zix took one, then they took two, then I took one, then they took zero. So yeah, okay, there's an Atrox TP again. Very nice. It's like man has Merc Treads now. Not super afraid of him though. <laughs> Legend of Lackery starting to kick in a little bit. Really feel that attack speed after a while. Pretty sure Aatrox goes Legend Haste, right? It would make more sense for him. Because Legend Haste does not apply to ultimates, so it's like not as good on Singe. If it did, I'd go Legend Haste every game, but it does not, so. Totally not a bait. I was gonna say. Brian falling for it. I haven't fallen for it once this game. You think I'm gonna fall for it now? Uh, they're on Herald probably. That means Jarvan will probably gank top. I gotta back off. Unless he really did just walk away, I might go for the turret. Yo, fuck it. Let's go. Let's see what happens. 
Legend Alacrity coming in clutch here. Nice. There's Jarvan. Yep, they're walking at me here. Whoa, arrow. Whoa, arrow. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, that's the ult, that's the ult, that's all. We got three men ulted. I'll take it though, not bad. Alright, so next item, uh, I could do a lot of stuff. I could do dead man's here if I really wanted to be not full AP, but I think I do want to be full AP this game just to kill the Akali. So it'll probably be um, Riftmaker or Cosmic. Those are both really good. Cosmic could really put Akali uh, in a bad mood. I could kite her super, super hard with Cosmic and Fleet. Um, Riftmaker would be great for dueling. I can do either or. Let's be a bit of a demon and go cosmic drive. I'm I'm feeling the speed. I already have 1.4k healing off of fleet footwork as well as a turret and like just great lane sustain, so this is feeling quite nice to me so far. Dragon in 45, I'll have alt and ghost for it, so. The main thing will be hopefully just to not get trapped by Jarvan and nuked by a Kali. If I can avoid those two things, I should be able to have a good fight. It is Jarvan's primary goal to ult me. I do have to worry about that. Even though I'm 1 in 4, I'm still pretty strong. I, I wonder if he knows it. Because I know that I'm strong. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, Akali is going to have maybe her Shadow Flame here. Depending how strong she is. Okay, walking down for drag. Alt in 13. Ready, aim. Ghost in 5. That ain't it. Oh, there's an Akali Flanker. Got a lot of her health bar here, though. Yep, he ulted me immediately and flashed out, but I have Triumph procs here. Jarvan died as well, more Triumph procs. Triumph proc fleet auto, very nice. Akali super chunked out. We should be able to do this. I do have heals from. Oh, oh, buddy, I don't think so. I do have heals from fleet footwork here. I healed like five, six hundred in that fight. Oh my gosh. A move, a move, a move. My mic disconnected. A move. Wait, you died to poison. Nice. <laughs> Sorry if my audio cut out there. I was attack moving for. Uh... Fleet proc and it worked out. I got tri a triumph proc as well. Man, that's a big ass fight. That's a big ass fight. I already ganked four times. That's insane. Very nice. I do have uh, cosmic drive money, I believe. No, I'm off. I want one more wave. I'm going to be greedy. If I die farming for cosmic drive here, I'm probably going to cry. Uh, sorry, my audio is fucking up. It's I've had this issue since Vanguard, man. I don't know. Uh, one second. All right, recording restarted. Hopefully you have audio now. I'm trying to run this guy down. No way. Fleet procs, rocket heal. This guy's doomed. Nice. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. bit of a technical difficulty. They have a two for one in mid. Not bad. I don't know where Akali is. Not super afraid of her. The Jarvan will probably just keep ulting me. Also, your fleet number does not go up if you're full HP. Uh, Soraka should probably back out. It's nearly time. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know. I would not walk there if I were you, Caitlyn. Spooky spot, brother. Okay, we can most likely siege tier 2 top, but again, yeah, I don't really think it's a good idea here. Aatrox nearby. I hear you. <laughs> okay, backing out. Not fully sure where Akali is. That's the main person to worry about. She'll look for a flank next fight as well, most likely. The same thing she did, she did last fight. She she wants the flank to try and get in the back line. I have to try and protect it. 
All right, looks like the Ash is dead. See, look, she's pushing bottom to look for the flank here. I wonder if I can just 1v1 her. I, I, I want to say I can. The problem is she has Ignite to Grievous in me, though, for the, uh, for the fleet heal. But I'm not unconfident about the fight. Okay, fixing the wave. I'll go walk up towards my team here. Drop a word for Dragon as well. My team is in a super weird spot. I don't think Baron is the call there anyways. I think the call was Dragon. Okay, walking down with Kha'Zix. Grab a little bit of a heal off the crab. Fleet super useful for... Wait, what are we afraid of here? Oh, yeah, we had time. The Jarvan wasn't there. He showed up. Whatever. Good luck now, I suppose. Enemy team is chunked. I'm gonna make sure I damage the Akali a bit. A little bit of gooflinger on her. Damage onto Aatrox. Damage onto Jarvan. Fleet proc here again. I'm a bit of a demon for that fight. Let me grab another fleet footwork proc off the crab. 2,420 fleet healing there. <laughs> the team fight's just feeling oh so good. Oh so good with the fleet, dude. Nice part about having Legend Alacrity as well is I can also just push, split push if I need to. I, I would go for Baron, but I don't think Caitlyn or Huey are in or Caitlyn or Ari interested. Would be down if they were, but yeah, they're weird leaf farming jungle so whatever not my problem i'm gonna grab top wave here on my way should be good <laughs> Build towards Riftmaker as well. I just don't think they can deal with me at this point either. The Akali will try. She'll definitely try, but I th I'm fairly certain with Riftmaker I can 1v1 her through the Ignite. She does have a spell shield, but I think it's just a matter of fling and then not even having that damage won't matter. I can definitely 1v1 Aatrox. I can 1v1 Jarvan for sure. Uh, Hoi is probably the hardest. Hoi and Ashley are the hardest because they have a range advantage and CC advantage. But everybody else should be a not too difficult 1v1. And she's just dead. Very nice. You should die as well. Ooh! Bro, that's like the 83rd time you've ulted me this game. When's it worked out? Fleet proc, fling on the ash, fling on the wrong way, kill her anyways. Triumph proc. Oh my god, dude, the healing goes crazy, especially with the Soraka. Passive procs. He feared me, but I got the W. No! The minion saved him, dude! Get his ass, he's so fast. Nice, 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 all good. Can we Baron there? I have low health, but... Yeah, actually we can. Caitlyn's up in two. We can, we can Baron. Well, my Kha'Zix doesn't want to, so I guess I can't. No worries. Yeah, I'm healing like an absolute demon now. You love to see it. Uh, Crypt Bloom game? Crypt Bloom game. More healing, more damage. Why not? Could get a Dead Man's as well, potentially here. It's really good against their team. Uh, slow resistance, movement speed, armor, health. But you know I like my AP. I want to 1v1 this, Akali. Come here, you coward. She has Zonya's up. Or, uh, Banshee's. So she has... Wait, wait. She has one Banshee's component and one Zonya's component. I'm kind of smart to be a little bit tankier. My Caitlyn is walking right at her. She might be dead now. Oh, yeah. I don't know what you were doing, dude. That's a weird spot to be in. I wouldn't walk there.
Got the fling. Now the ghost still very nice. <laughs> I just something like Caitlyn was watching the uh, the fight there. It's nearly time. Okay, so there's a potential that I kill Ash right there. Uh, small potential if she W's and I kite back into the wave, and then she doesn't have W anymore. But kind of difficult because she was saving her W. So, all right, Blighting Jewel is up. Very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and keep my um keep my uh, yellow wards. It's gonna be awkward uh, not having teleport for this top wave, but if I don't go to Dragon, we're probably gonna lose it. So let's go ahead and walk down. 3.2k healing off of the fleet as well. So that, that really does add up in the later stages of the game, as you have AP and you start skirmishing and group fighting more. Alright, walking over. Akali will flank from the right. Well, she is just hard CC'd already. We get Dragon, and I just don't think there's a way they can fight. Come here, Ash, you little rat. Fleet proc on you as well. I mean, I'm not even losing health at this point. I'm full HP. I don't see how they win. Uh, I don't see how they win now with us having Ocean Soul. I can probably just stand there and stat check them for the entire game. I just, I just don't see how they win. There's a Jarvan and Hui alive. A 3.5k healing. There's Hui Flash. The Fleet Proc. He runs away immediately. He's kiting back as I'm like at the uh, inhibitor turret, but he's at Nexus almost. He's scared. He's so scared, bro. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, do I have Crypt Blue Money? Do I have Crypt Blue Money? I want to. I'm catching the Akali on the flank every time as well. I want a 1v1 her, but she's really not wanting to take it at all. Understandable. She's terrified. She is absolutely scared. Oh, okay. Ash Arrow incoming right there. Kiting away for the uh, Jarvanol. They are running scared as soon as I show up. But Ash is just a little too far forward. I have Crypt Bloom proc on her there as well. Akali died, but it wasn't a fleet footwork. He's dead as well. Jarvan dies as well. Fleet footwork. I'm just full HP. Walk around. Where's the Huey? Oh, he's down here. He's gonna fear me or ult me or something. Come here, you rat. Come here. I finally got you. Right at the end. It's Jover. I still have flash as well. 3,700 fleet footwork healing. Gonna be have a little bit more here even. 3,870. Give me one more before the game is over. 4,015. Love to see it. One more. 4,169 healing. Nice. 4,169 healing. Uh, the movement speed just going crazy. I like this rune a lot. I really like this rune after the buff. It it has been made better for Singed. Uh, be, and it's also nice because the the buff is specifically for melees only. So if there's an enemy range champion that took fleet, you know you're going to be a little bit faster than them if you go fleet for fleet. Which is really nice. So let's go ahead and see the um, damage numbers. I was a little bit demonic that game. I'm not going to lie. I was a bit of a problem for them. All right, so damage numbers, uh, 40,153, 40.1k damage. That Aatrox had 30.7, which is shocking to me, uh, considering that I dumpstered in the entire game, but it is Aatrox, I guess, so. Uh, they ganked me so much that game, and I was just like, I'm just chilling. Um, check the healing done, 15.4k. Uh, Soraka healing done is obviously from her healing. And then Kha'Zix is from his W plus, I believe, healing in jungle. So for me to have more healing done than Aatrox, uh, the Bruiser centered around healing 
is pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie. That is that is not bad at all. Uh, and I'm not even sure how accurate that number is just because the numbers are always weird on the post-game graphs, you know. But 4168, I thought it was 4169 at the end there. It was 4169. Why did it take one healing away from me? It was. Look, it was 4169. It took a healing away from me. Um, 3263 Triumph healing as well. Yeah, feels great to me. Honestly, I, I, I had some absolutely demonic fights this game. This was probably the biggest one right here. Uh, let's go ahead and pop it in full screen. Let's go ahead and pop it in full screen. Get the Akali on the flank. Uh, fling her as she uses her thing, uh, her shuriken away. She's taken so much health damage here. If she goes in, we just kill her. And so she she runs away. She knows it's a bad fight for her. I get ulted by Jarvan. Fling the Huey in. Triumph proc. Here's a fleet footwork proc. Oh, I'd actually proc it there, but here's one coming up. This is all with this rocket healing me as well. So another double heal set there. The nice part again about having all those heals is that I can just be a little bit... Uh, a little bit tankier, lasts a little bit longer in fights, helps each an objective afterwards. Every other champ in the game is going to have some healing, so. There's a Kali over the wall. She tries to go for us. I didn't get a fleet forward proc on her quite there. Oh no, did my audio fuck with my recording here too? Okay, it looks like it, it caught my audio again. Nice. Because I need to use the audio from, uh, from Outplayed, duh edit the video back together with that being said guys thank you for watching you appreciate it Mwah. catch the next one peace guys sorry for scuffed audio if it does happen in the final upload